what mass of hexachlorophene must be added to 125 grams of chloroform to give a solution of boiling point of 62.6, given a KB of 3.6, and a boiling point of pure chloroform of 61. All right, we are doing a boiling point change. So that's our equation. We won't have an I because chloroform and hexachlorophene are both, are neither one ions. All right, but my delta T is going to be the difference of those two. And my KB is 3.63 degrees Celsius per molality. Let's just start by solving for the molality. So, 62.6 minus 61.7 is 0.9. Divide that by 3.63. divided by 3.63. That should be my molality. And um, I am going to write that down, but I'm going to use it in my calculator. All right, so molality is moles per kilogram. And we want to know how much mass of the solute we're putting in there. So um, since that's, and I'm going to write that over here so we can see the units moles of the hexachlorophene over kilograms of solvent, so in this form, this one, chloroform. All right, so I'm going to get rid of the chloroform from my number by multiplying this by the kilograms of chloroform we put in there. So times 0.125. That number there should be moles of hexachlorophene. So to get the mass of hexachlorophene, we just multiply that by the 406, the molecular weight of the hexachlorophene. And we get an answer of 12, well, 13 grams.